Hey guys, it's Insane Sin here, or Insane Slin, RT Gaming. Don't really care what you call me. Uh, it's just me, uh, my new mechanic that I started, and I'm doing a video on how to start to make money quick in a game. Or, well, easy ways to make a bit of money while you're at such a low level. Because this account, I'm not getting any money from my main account because I can easily just whore this guy out and make him godly, but I uh, thought trying out the new Maple Story would be kind of cool because, uh, well, Maple Story's changed a lot since when I first started when it was 50 Meso for a rare potion instead of 5. It's 45 Meso no difference, but it's a lot cheaper now compared to then and it's easier to get money now. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about the difference. I'm talking about how to make money at a low level in Maple Story. <laughs> One thing you're going to notice me doing a lot is picking up everything that I can. Like, I may leave one or two things behind, but I try to get the main things because picking up everything and just selling them while they're, you're in the store, it's good. Because once you do that, then you can make a bit of money on the side and it'll all add up. Ooh, I leveled up. Another great thing to do is when there's events on, especially the red envelope one, is give them to Mr. Moneybags, especially now where you can't really sell them for an expensive price. At first, of any event that's on the go, like when you have the compass, uh, Rascal Snow Pieces, sell those at the beginning because they are the most value that they can possibly get. And if you're at a low level, you are not going to be able to keep up with the higher level people that can just kill everything on like Hennessy's Hunting Ground map and get so many pieces of snow you're not going to win anything. It's going to be them, so don't try them until you're in a higher level. But uh, where I am now, I'm level 17, as you've just seen, I pick up everything, I'm picking up the red envelopes, and I'm making money off of it because it's the best way for me to make money. I sell things I don't need in the store when I get back to town because that's really the best way to do it overall. And if you... Uh, pick up everything that you can find it's gonna make you quick bucks uh... equipment you things you want to do with it is if it's potential keep it and sell it in free market a great way to make money is to have nx cash where you can either gatch sell it or have a store to sell your stuff because it just sells easier But i'm just talking here now without nx so you're going to go into free market and saying selling whatever with hidden potential. So people are going to want to buy it more because, well, since it has hidden potential, it becomes more worth more. <laughs> if uh, you get an item that's not hidden potential, just sell that one into the store because usually people aren't going to pay for it. If, it's, if you're at a higher level, then you can sell it, but now at a low level, I'm just making a like six to nine hundred meso on these things because well they're truly truly crappy. Uh, another good way to make money at low levels are to do the quest because once you do the quest you get all this extra crap from it, such as items and potions, so you don't gotta waste your money there. You also get money for some anyways, not all. And it does help you level up faster. <laughs> Uh, one thing to manage at low levels is your equipment. You don't need to buy equipment every five levels, like from 10 to 30, because I'm level 25 on them now, and I still have my level 10 stuff. I got the negotiated level 20 pistol from a quest, which saved me 10k, so worked out in the long run. Eh? <laughs> uh, I'm just uh, finishing up this quest now. I will meet you back in town when I get it done because as of right now I guess you don't really want to watch me get 60 more pieces of board. So we will now venture back into the town. And here we are talking to Mr. Moneybags after I got another level up. So fast leveling up at low levels. I only have 7 here now but where I have 267k all this money so far has been made just from this account and when I first started playing Maple if I was level 18 and I had 10k, I was happy. So now I got 267 starting off, and I'm giving in seven of these 
friggin' whatever you want to call it, red envelopes. Uh, there's no point to sell them in free market, as I said earlier, because now you can sell them for like 3k or something on Barra, anyways. Because truly, they're pretty well worthless to everyone now. <laughs> they're not that great because they only give you a random mess of between a thousand, ten thousand, or a hundred thousand. And you don't really want to spend a lot of money on those and just get gypped off with all the thousands. Uh, one good thing about mine is on this account, I already how I got the 260k before this was I did the red envelopes. I had a few of them, and I ended up getting two 100k's, a couple 20k's, and a couple k. Either way, it all adds up, especially at this level where 1,000 meso is all the pot you need for a while. And pot, I mean by potion, I'm not a stoner. Stop thinking crazy shit. Oh, I probably shouldn't swear. Woo. But yeah, here anyways, uh, I'm selling off the crappy stuff I have. That sword I'm going to keep because it's my beginner weapon. It's only one meso, but I think it's just kind of cool to keep. I've always done it. Well, except for when I'm a higher level and I realize, why do I have this level 1 sword? That sucks tit. I'm also keeping that old wooden staff because it's a good item where it got the blue square around it before it gets scrolled or anything. Everything I have there is stuff that I can be used. I'm using the red potions at the time because, well, truly I don't need them. <coughs> but I'm just too cheap to buy actual potions. So I save my orange and white for later on. Oh, do sell my red. So I sold my red to get rid of them because, well, I only get three meso per red potion, but you know what? It's worth it in the long run. Just save you to make you a bit more money because I got all that from questing. Uh, when you see me sell my except my ETC, I sold everything I didn't need. I didn't sell the stuff I just worked for because that would be a piss off. And that's one thing I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, another couple hints for making money is when you find ores, do not sell them in the store because you can sell them to people. Even if you get the price wrong and you sell it for like 5k, you're making money. Because ores are really worth everything now. Here I'm just showing you the equipment that you can buy, but I have no need to buy because, well... I'm just going to level up in no time and end up not needing it. Right here I'm checking the old wooden staff and how much mine is above average. Oh, and uh, quick tip. When you see people buying fame or defame, even if you're going to get scammed and lose your fame, it's not a big deal, but you do have a chance to make a profit off of one fame because people want fame and they will pay you good money to get it quick. So... That's what I'm going to leave you with. This is Insane Sin. I hope you have a great day of Mapling. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and you can leave a video response, and I will watch it and comment on it.